I made a list of the questions, the types of questions that appeared with the three 2017 Regents Chem exams. So that is here. Conservation of mass problems, right? That the mass that you start with is equal to the mass you end with. Calculating a molar mass. Balancing a reaction. Or balancing a reaction, they they use the in the question mole ratio, but it pertains to a balanced reaction or balanced equation. Using, of course, moles is equal to mass divided by gram formula mass formula, and determining the percent composition of an element in a compound. So, for example, the percent of oxygen in something like potassium nitrate. One other uh, question that came up that I saw when I was cut and pasted and I missed it to put it on the list here, but that would be taking an empirical formula, which is the lowest whole number ratio of atoms that are in a compound, and getting the empirical formula and the gram formula mass, and then converting to the actual molecular formula. So let's say we had um, an empirical formula of something like CH4, and you were given the gram formula mass as 32 grams per mole. And you were asked to figure out what is the actual molecular formula. Well, what I tell my students is there's three steps. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to calculate the gram formula mass for the empirical formula. So I have carbon and I have hydrogen, one carbon, four hydrogens, carbon is 12, hydrogen is 1, multiply them out, 12 and 4, and it equals 16. Then, in the second step, I'm going to take the gram formula mass, the 32, and I'm going to divide that by 16, and I'm going to get this number, this whole number, in this case, 2. Then all I'm going to do is take I take CH4, which is really C1H4, and I multiply it through by 2. So it's C2H8. So three steps. Determining the empirical formula, gram formula mass. Dividing the actual gram formula mass by the empirical formula and you end up with a molecular formula of C2H8. That's your answer. Now let's check out some more problems here. I'm going to go back to the first page. Check out these questions and then come on back for answers. For question one, question one and two are actually together. I messed up the numbering. There really is no question two. So this information goes along with this balanced equation. So work on the problems and then come on back and check and see how you did. And I'll go over and explain them. And this goes along with the list that I just showed you. Okay, so here are the answers. Check your answers and I'm going to go through explanations. Alright, question one. All right, what is the mass of oxygen? So I'm looking for oxygen's mass that reacts completely right with 4 grams of hydrogen and forms 36 grams of water. Now that's on the other side. So while you might think you have to go from mass to moles, mole ratio and moles back out, which you can do, this type of problem, remember, the total mass you start with, the total mass you have to end with. So all it is, it's going to be 4 plus the mass of oxygen is going to be equal to 36. In other words, 36 minus 4 which was 32. Now, before we go to question 3, let's go over to question 5. It's the same setup. I have 46 grams of sodium, and I have 71 grams of chlorine. If it reacts completely, then it all gets used up, so the total mass of sodium chloride is just 46 plus 71, which is 117. All right, let's take a look at question 3. Gram formula mass. So, in 2017, 
we have one, two, three determining of grand formula mass questions. Grand formula mass and molar mass means the same thing. And in every case, what I would suggest is you get the formula. So in the case of question three, you have calcium, oxygen, and hydrogen. List the number of times that the element appears in the formula. Calcium once. Now this two gets distributed back in. So two oxygens and one hydrogen. I'm going to multiply them by the gram formula masses that I found. Uh, found. I'm going to find on the periodic table. So calcium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Most of the time, students just round it to the whole number. The only one that's a little weird is chlorine, and I'll explain that in a minute. So 40, 16, and 1. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a 2, 2 hydrogens. So 40, 32, and 2. Yeah, that would have been a bummer otherwise. And we end up with 74, which is the answer. Now, if I go over to questions 7 and 8, ethene. I wrote it out by hand because when I cut and pasted it, it was, I cut it. Anyway, ethene, they give you the formula. It's C2H4. So I'm going to have two carbons and four hydrogens. Two times 12 is 24. Four times one is four. That's why the answer is 28. Now, for calcium chloride. Again, in the problem, in the typewritten problem, they gave you the formula. I'm going to put it up here. CaCl2. So I have a calcium, chlorine, 1 and 2. Calcium is 40. The one that's a little dicey is chlorine. If I go to the periodic table, and I blow up, oops, blow up chlorine for you. Sorry, let me get a little messed up with the motion here. And it's hard to see, but it's 35.45 going out two decimals. So it's a little annoying because if I round it to the whole number, it's 35. If I round it to the first decimal, it's 35.5. And of course, two decimals, 35.45. It's going to make a difference when I have to double it. So my suggestion is for chlorine, Maybe take it out at least one decimal, 35.5. So what am I going to get? I'm going to get 40, and then 35.5 times 2 is going to be 71, which then is 111 grams per mole. There are a few more questions. Check them out in the other parts of uh, this video. Keep working hard. Good luck. And you can also, of course, go back and redo the questions again. Don't fear the math of chemistry on the regions.